it's your old buddy Michael Chip here playing Run 8 Train Simulator 3. And this is the A Line Episode 21. Now, I was thinking about playing the lottery today. I'm of age, I'm old enough, I could play the lottery. And here we have a uh, daily three and four. You got to pick either three numbers or four numbers. I'm trying to come up with four numbers, and I just can't seem to come up with any good numbers right now. I know, uh, 7186. That's what it is. 718. Did you see what I did there? Because these numbers are really huge on the screen. And Okay, so what we're doing uh, on the A-line here in episode 21 is we're, we're trying desperately now to finish here in, uh, <laughs> in Devault. Although I say desperately, uh, I'm having the time of my life doing it. So maybe it's, it's not quite desperate. Did I turn on auto? I forget. Yeah, I did. Oh, you know what I didn't do, though? I didn't turn on the engine HUD. Uh, engine HUD. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to pull this cut off of here. Well, let's do some flying around first. Uh, we're going to pull this cut off of here. Uh, it's a little tiny cut. And in behind this cut is this train right here. And I'm noticing this right now. Hello. Maybe I can just pull forward and then back onto this one. Is there going to be enough room? Yeah, there will be. Look, this cuts all the way back here. Jeez. I forget how big these tracks are, how long they are. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that. Anywho, what I was also saying is there's this train here. And this train here is uh, it's a free agent train. So that means it's not going to move forward. It's no longer under AI control. Uh, so it won't move forward, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, we can fire it up. We're railroaders. So uh, let's, uh, well, let's go up here now and make sure that all these switches are set correctly let's see now this one should be oh i'm too high now I'm too high here we go uh no here go. this one should put normal right yeah it is uh and then this one here they're both normal okay so now let's fly to the end here and we just need to pull forward enough with this tiny tiny cut land thank you uh, in order to clear this one right here. Okay. Here we go now. Got the old rail driver fired up and ready to go. Let's put her in forward. Couple of toots. As we're moving forward. That's why I put it in forward. Now, what am I thinking? Everything's looking good. Everything's good. Put it in notch one. Oh, except the... the there we go. Parking brakes off. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? It says it's released. Is he moving? He's not. He's not moving. And there's no way it's got to be in a higher notch. All right, let's put it in a higher notch. Notch two. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the old F5, F7. Okay, now let's put it in F1. No. What the? Oh, I know what it is. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I forgot about item number 726 whenever you're running these engines. is I started them so you can hear them running, right? But you know what? I didn't do the circuit board and all that stuff. Uh, I got to do this, I got to do this, and I got to do this. There we go. Now it'll work. <laughs> okay. Back down we come right here. All righty. This game can be complicated. Beautifully so, don't get me wrong, but it's still complicated. Okay, now uh, it's in neutral, so let's slide it back into forward. It's going to work now. I'm just, I'm so confident that it's going to work right now. You, you can hardly understand it. There it is. It's working. It's working. All right. There it comes. Pull this forward now. A satisfying sound when it goes over the uh, frogs. Like that, isn't it? Sounds like it's got some heft to it. 
Right, right there. Put on some auto brake. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah. I've been playing Railroader. You just can walk up on Railroader. It'll take you right up the ladder. All right. Now, let's put her into reverse. All right. Release the brake. There we go. Scoots right back up to 90. Good, good, good. Back up now. That, uh... Refrigerator unit is loud. All right, let's put it in reverse. There we go. And we're going to have to stop up here because this manual switch has got to be thrown as well. Well, we can do that. Because we're railroaders. And, and uh, uh, railroaders that can't figure out how to get the engine to start. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. All right, let's give it a notch, too. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Come back this way. We can't see a lot. All right. All these cars over here are all in the storage tracks. So we ain't got to worry about those. And then we still have that cut that's way up there. Can we see it from here? Just barely right there. The mist is surrounding it. What time is it right now? It's, uh... Coming up on 4 o'clock. I will quit in times 5. We only run the day shift here. Alrighty. Now we're going to have to slide this back into notch 0. Now when I'm done dropping this off... Uh... What am I going to do with the lead engines on here, the two switchers? Are we going to run them back up this track? Yeah, probably. Because we're going to have to run the other engine up that track, that last train that's right there. Well, that's actually not the train. That's a bunch of trailers, truck trailers. All right, let's add some uh, brake here. Let's add some more brake. A little bit of indie brake on there too. There we go. Let's hop off now. And throw this switch. Beautiful. Now we're gonna have to ride him back. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be able to see when we come in contact with that other uh, car. Grab on. There you go. Okay, release the brakes. They're going to go to 90. Yes. Airflow's going way down because that's pumping back up. As it gets closer and closer, the airflow's going to go down. That's my understanding. Okay, here we go now. There it is. Or d d d does CSX not issue uh, hearing protection? Well, I can only imagine the amount of dust and stuff coming out of this thing. Oof. All right. There's the ones we have to meet up with way over there. Yep, that's the one. So we're on our way. Okay, I'll put you guys on pause till we get there. Here we come. I just slipped it into neutral. So we're doing some coasting. We got it up near 12 mile an hour or so. No, just over 12, actually. Let's start slowing that down now. I can see these. I'm watching these now. I can see how much they apply. Yeah, see, that much works much better now. I can slow it down without having it come to a stop because I understand what these numbers mean now. Brake pipe in the uh, equalizing reservoir. Okay, so we're going to slow it down just a little bit more now. I'm going to get it down to five. 
Watch these two guys are watching me. They're like, watch this guy. He's, he's not very good. Oh, I'm getting better though. Jerks. All right, come over here. Here he comes. Look at it. This is like, this is like railroading perfection right here. We should be going a little bit faster than this, but this I think is going to be okay. Look at that. Nice. Now we're going to run to the front of the train. Oh, we're still going. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Stop moving. There you go. Okay, now we're running to the front of the train. Look out. All right, here we are with our two switchers again. Now we are going to... Uh, oh, yeah. Again, I'm playing railroad. I'm used to doing it manually. Can you do it manually? I don't think you can, right? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've been playing way too much railroad. All right, so we're going to uh, close that angle cock. Yep. Uh, and then we're going to come over here, and we are going to set the handbrake. So we got to give it a bump. All right, give me a bump. Oh, wait there. Turn that down. Okay. I'll give you. Here we go. Perfect. Now let's get in here and we'll say open the coupler. We'll come over here. We'll open the coupler. Release. Right? Everything's right. Should be. Put her in forward. Go. Perfect. All right. Now what we got to do is we got to take a ride back up to where we entered these uh, service tracks, these uh, industry tracks, and we have to uh, set that back to uh, straight. We don't want them to be reversed anymore. We're setting them back to normal, I guess I should say. That's not proper terminology. I'm learning. Uh, how come that didn't work? <laughs> I tried to set... I thought it was... No, it's Control-C, isn't it? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Now, are these the ones that were switched? Oh, yeah. All righty. Stop just before this switch here. Go. Oh, boy, did I not? Oh, I think I did. I, I made it. Okay. That one that way. And then we're going to have to run. Well, yeah, let's ride up for a little bit. Where, where, where am I? How do I get way over here? Oh, that's the wrong train. Okay. Good job, buddy. Here we go now. Because I want to throw that one over there, too. Why run all the way over there? We'll, we'll ride over this way. All right. This is a long crossover track. There we go. There's the switch right there. Right? Yep, that's the switch right there. Put on some indie brake here. There we go. Hop off. Come over here and say back to normal. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's reset my rail driver now because we are going to go and take over this train over here. Uh, so that's normal. All right. Now we're going to run down this way. And we're going to... What are these? ES44DCs? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Smacked it right into it. That one is... What's this one here? Same thing, I think. Yeah, it is. 
ES44 DCs. Okay, so now we're going to come up here. We're going to say train, relinquish my train. And then we're going to come over here and say, get some. Uh, train ownership. Huh? Oh, I clicked on the wrong train. I think I clicked on the one behind it. What happened there? Relinquish my train. There we go. Yeah, I think I clicked the one that's on the other side of it, that car over there. Okay. We're going to auto start all the locomotives. School's in. There we go. Uh, it's nothing like the sound of starting up diesel engines, huh? There we go. Now we're not going to be idiots this time. We're going to say, do me this, do me this, do me this. Then do me this. Let's do the F5, F7. Just to make sure everything's connected. Now, should I go back and check all the switches? Yeah, I probably should. Remember what happened last time. What's this one over here now? This one is, okay, these should all be normal. Yeah, normal, normal. Woo, we're fast. Oh, did I miss any on this side? Nope. These two here are both normal. Yeah, that takes care of those two. Anything else? This one here is normal. Now, how did that other one? Uh, don't go. Don't go there. Don't go there. Just, just say good be done with it back to the front here now let's land there we go let's turn on the front light i like to watch it go on Ooh. okay here we go now we should be ready to well oh, <laughs> i'm not playing real order we should be able to uh move forward now put it in forward couple toots automatic bell brake cylinders down here we go Cycle up. Yes. There, there, of course, is our switcher engines right over there. Now, I didn't put an EOT on this, but there might have been an EOT on it already. Okay, let's put it in notch two. Oh, boy. Oh, no, there it goes. Is it just real heavy? That's all it is? Okay, thanks with the bell. Appreciate that. This is the all-annoying noise episode. First, we had to put up with the uh, reefer all the way down, and then we had to put up now with the bell. If you're annoyed, well, this just may not be the channel for you. Drink a Coke. Nice. I could do that during the pauses, but uh, you know, I'm going to drink a Coke whenever I want to. I am having the time of my life. All right. It's less than an hour now to quitting time. Uh, and so uh, we're going to go to the front end of the yard here, and I'll bring you guys back when we get there. Here we are at the far end of the yard. I said front end, but I guess far end would have been a better way of putting it. Huh? All right. Start slowing down a little bit. Now, these switches here should all be normal, right? Oh, yeah. They are. Very good. Then we'll add some brake here. Some auto brake. Followed by some indie brake. It's okay if we go over here a little bit because we got two engines and they're pretty long. There we go. All right. Because yeah, the switcher's got to come up this track right here, but there's more than enough room for it. <laughs> That's what I figured. Okay. Oh, look at that. We can open the coupler right away. So we will open the coupler. We'll set the handbrake. Uh, yeah, just to be safe. 
Uh, we'll come over here. We will close this. We'll open the coupler. Okay, and now we're going to pull forward. Let's release the brakes. We just drifted forward and deconnected. Disconnected. Deconnected a word? I don't think so. All right. Ooh, I'm going to have to hurry. Wait up. <laughs> Smiling. Smiling Jim was left without me. All right. We'll put this over on the storage tracks with all the other engines. Gave it a little bit of juice. It sure didn't speed up. It's got that long cycle of time. I forget. It takes a little bit before it engages. All right. There we go. Throw that going this way. And now we're off to the storage tracks. Now, wait a minute. Un momento, poor favor. I don't think we can get the storage tracks. I mean, we can, but then we have to back it up again. Okay. Let's throw this back the way it was. And wait a minute, though. Is there another? Yeah, yeah. We got to go off on this one here. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we're too far to go off on this one. So let's do this. Uh. Oh boy. I right, put it in reverse. It's okay. It's all good. No reason to get upset. Any mistakes you make means you just get to drive the train some more. There it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll grab onto here now. Put her back and forward. There we go. Now, is there going to be enough room? If there's not, we can just bump these back. And they'll finally get these out of the way as well. We'll get it as close as we can. Yeah, I don't think so. I, there's a one engine came off of this. There's no way we're going to make it. All right, so let's throw this the correct way. There we go. And then we're going to have to lash onto this just temporarily so we can push it backwards. Okay, bring it on. shot there huh yard in the background there car going over the bridge brakes are on you know all that good stuff there we go all right throw it into neutral once we hit around five there just a just a sousant of brake there we go all right, now what we're going to have to do is we we'll have to go F5, F7, so we can bump this backwards. All right, uh, bump it backwards. Or actually, well, yeah, we're bumping it backwards while we're going forward. It makes sense. All right. Pushing this backwards now. Actually, I could have stayed back there because I'm going to have to unlash everything again. Ah, uh, a little more exercise for you. Won't kill you. <clears throat> I just indie break that right to the... Didn't even look at the train break. Okay, so what do we got here? Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a problem. Wait a minute, just came forward. Nope, not enough. All right, so let's bump it back a little bit more. We're still in forward yet. Yeah, we're still in forward. 
Go ahead. Thank you. All right, here we go now. So we are going to keep it open. Just open the coupler here. Here we're going to open the coupler. We're going to close the angle cock. Then we're going to put it into reverse. Make sure we have a successful decoupling. And we do. All right. This time we're going to put Smile and Jim in uh, neutral. Okay, buddy. What do we got now? So we got this one going this way. We got, okay, those, these are both reversed. That's correct. So let's go. Give it some, give me some juice. Continue along our way here. go there we are control c i know why i was hitting control s before when i was trying to get the slow speed to work uh and that's because in uh, farming simulator when i want to turn on the gps it's control s <laughs> how about that actually it's what control s is to set up the gps control c i guess is, or alt c is to turn it on uh, how do i keep track of all this stuff in my brain i don't know this one's weird. I think I've probably said that before. Target on this one is weird, yeah. It's like it's yellow or it's nothing. All right, now we want to put it on the track. It's on this track here, right? I came out close enough, can't click on it. I think it's on this track here, which means that switch is thrown wrong. We, we're going to stop before it. I don't think I can click on anything while I'm on the... Yeah, no, while I'm hanging on the ladder. I can't click on it. Okay. All right, let's get off. Now, this right here is... Yeah, the Jacks Duvall shunt. So, we want to put it on this one right here. There we go. Now, we'll run back this way. Or walk quickly. Okay. Here we go. Put this one on the storage track. Take off the brake. There you go. It moves a lot faster when the brake's off. All right. Let's slide that into there now. I hit this doing about five mile an hour. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take off the brakes. Just F5 is all I want to do. Be able to push them? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a long line. Look at that. It's a long line of stored engines. He can't push it. <laughs> okay, what if I hit F7 too then? Yep, yeah, it's got to be F7. I thought I could just do it. Maybe I did. Maybe it's just too long now. Air hoses have got to be connected, otherwise those brakes are going to be on those engines in the rear there. All right, I'm kind of standing on the wrong side as far as seeing where this is going to go, right? Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, stop. Right there is fine. How are we looking on the other end of this cut now? Uh, this this power line up here. Jeez. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God, we got lots lots of room all right whoop and we're underneath the world back on top here we are let's turn the uh the lights off on this sucker put it back into neutral the brakes are on let's uh turn it off uh so we'll come over here and we'll say uh turn off the engine set the handbrake and then we'll come over here and we'll say turn off the engine set the handbrake 
Oh, that's the... Uh, I knew already. I was just kidding. It's the uh, reefers. Okay, now we got to run all the way up here. We're going to cut across. Very dangerous. Never do this. Oh, yep. Okay. Right. There we go. Right through there. Now we're going to run back over here. Could have flew. Probably should have. Back here to our switcher engines that we left. Hey, Jack Stavall switcher. Oh, but we got to do this. That's right. Train, relinquish the train, then come over here and say, get some. All right, got it. Uh, let's make sure we turn on the lights. There we go. Let's jump on board. Jump on board. And here we go. Release the brakes. Let's go forward. Here we go. All right. Everything is going swimmingly. This up to 15 mile an hour. There we go. Even, uh, even rail drivers telling me it's 15. So now we got two cuts on there. Uh, we want to get this third cut on there and then that fourth cut from over there that we had to back into from the fourth. That, that's set correctly. This is a relatively long cut we got to do. It looks like it's got a lot of well cars on it. Mostly well cars. Are those tagged correctly? Hmm. Probably should check that out. This one here should be wrong. It is. That one is set incorrectly. We got to put it in reverse. I could just pop it though, right? Yeah. We're going to have to put it back in neutral anyway. So yeah, let's just pop it. Slow down to five mile an hour. Here we go. Jump off. What do you call it when you go over a switch that you don't switch to where it's supposed to be? You know what I'm saying? Like I did right here. I, I've been saying pop it. Is, I, I can't be right. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. No. And it stays... In Railroader, it switches. Okay, why did I just do that? All right, now we're going to back it up. Very nice. So we can lash onto this cut, put it where it needs to go. Back into neutral. You do a lot of coasting in trains. A lot of coasting. Here we go. Let's jump off. We've got it. Then we're going to go uh, F5, F7. Doing some cheat. All right. Now, let me see. What do we got here in the tagger? Yeah, see, these are all set for none. That's not right. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. Uh, but they're all set for none. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to fix that. Okay, so I tagged him. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the tagger. I think I had before. Let's look at it again, though. Here's the tagger, right? So here's my two locomotives. has their names on there. And right now, they're all set for Jack's Duvall ramp. Now, what I can do is... <clears throat> I click on this first car, scroll to the bottom, then hold shift. And it highlights all of them. And then you can turn on the industry tags. And then when I go here, these are all the places that require either empty or loaded uh, cars that I have in my consist. So I can hit any one that I want. Of course, I hit JDR because that's where I want them to go. So they're all now set for JDR. So that 
Whoa. Why are only half of them set? Okay, well, they were all set. Let's try that again. So you can go like this, and you hit here, and you say JDR. Are they all set to JDR now? Okay, yeah. I must not have highlighted them all. I thought I did. Okay, so we got it now. Now what we got to do is we got to pull forward until we cross this one right here, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's take a look down here. Is, there, is everything set? No, it's not. We'll ride back there with uh, Smiling Joe. <clears throat> or is it Jimmy? I think it's Smiling Jimmy. But uh, let's put it forward. All my brake pressure looks correct. Here we go. Watching that mile per hour. I don't want to put it in too high of a gear too quick. Sneaking forward on it. All right, just went to zero probably because the weight's too much. You got to add a little more oomph. Here we go. Now that may be the last car that just started moving right there. I think. Here we go. We're at one mile an hour now. I'll put it in notch three. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to stop when we get up here, though, because we don't want to go over here. We'll ram into that. We want to keep going straight. Okay, now we got some momentum going with us. Whole train's definitely moving now. You always got to remember, just because the front of the train's moving, don't mean the back of the train's moving, too. Could still be at a standstill. What am I telling you guys that? You know that already. All right, just recheck those things again. And we'll put it into neutral. And a slide up here. Sneak up on this switch. And only doing 4.7 so let's go up here so we don't have to stop the train do that there we go and then slide it back into notch three all right then we're going to walk back down this way to where the switch is to put them into the yard still got more room on that one track so we'll put them on there first as you never know if another train's coming. Who knows, there may be another train coming into the yard right now down in the far end. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Yep, this is the switch we want. Okay, I'll put you guys back on pause again until the, the end of the train gets here. And here we come. All right. Got up near 14. Let's start adding some auto brake. There we go. Start adding some indie brake. A little more indie brake. Oh, maybe too much. Oh, uh, yeah, probably too much. Well, maybe not. Yep, too much. <laughs> okay. So I stopped just a, just a hair too early. All right, let's put it back in notch one. Notch two. There we go. Come on. I hear it coming. Winter approaches. Is that what they used to say in uh, Winter Winter Comes in uh, Game of Thrones? Winter Approaches? I forget. All right. There we go. We'll throw it this way. Got it. Let's jump on. And we'll put it in reverse.
It's a long ways off, but I still heard it. Here we go. In reverse. We're moving. So let's slide it into notch three. Look at the pressure on those knuck knuckles go up. A couple or so. Oh, well, knuckles, couples, right? Whatever. The knuckles open, the knuckles close on the coupler. So the knuckles part of the coupler. So the knuckle pressure is the same as the couple pressure, right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Pushing it back into the yard here. I don't see another train coming up the tracks. I think we're good. I think this is the last. Besides that, those uh, wells that are over on the other side this should be the last ones. These and then the wells. All right. This should be set correctly, right? We're going to go to the left. Yep. Because it is normal. Get a nice, long, straight shot of these tracks here. There we go. So this yard, these uh, industry tracks produce loads on everything except for... We're going down the wrong one. Ah. Well, that's all right. It don't make a difference. We don't have another train coming in anyway. But uh, as I was saying before we went down the wrong track, uh, is that... Uh, oh, wow, we're really picking up speed fast here, aren't we? Uh, we're going to do uh, Control-C right there. No, right there. It was already set. Anyway, um, this yard produces... It, uh, it loads well cars. It loads uh, auto racks. And, uh, oh, my God, look out. Oh, suck in the gut. And then, uh, but it empties the refrigerator cars. That's what it does. Okay, now the question is, how far back am I going to push this? Uh, yeah, it's going to be real hard to tell from this angle, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Okay, let, let's, uh, let's slow it down. There we go. Adding brake. There we go. Ten. Allow to pressurize. Okay, give us get a little bit of throttle there. I'll jump off. Then I just want to slow down to five so I can get off, make it more realistic so that I could then fly, which is completely unrealistic. What are you going to do? I thought for sure. Now nah, you can see it now. Yeah, I was wrong. Well, obviously I was wrong. I went down the wrong track. All right. So now we got to wait until let's put that's three until he clears this, which actually he's going to have to, uh, Pull it back a ways here, right? He's going to have to come bring it back to... Even that's not far enough. Uh, looks like it kind of straightens out right in this area here. Let's see what it looks like when I when the car passes. Here. We'll take a glimpse in between. Yep, that's good. Okay, so we'll wait until the train comes out this way. You know, backs up far enough. You know what I mean. Put you on pause. And here come the engines right now. Got to throw back into neutral. Closer to the track here. Let's start putting on some auto brake. And some Indy brake. There we go. Okay, we'll move through here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so we're going to come this way now, and we're going to say, give me the handbrake. Release all the brakes. There you go. And then, is that enough of a bump right there? It was. Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh. Nope. <laughs> and then it... Do I have the brake on? Yeah. We're doing, we're doing some... We're doing some... What are we doing? Why is it going backwards? Handbrake is set. 
that's kind of weird. Doing some floating there. Okay, so we're still reverse. Not, not give me that bump. I was. Here we go. All right. We'll just. I don't know why I was floating. Was brakes hadn't engaged yet. All right. We'll do this there, and then we'll go over here. We'll close the angle cock. We'll open the coupler. Now we're gonna go forward. There we go. Okay, now the last thing we got to do here is run down to the other end of those uh, cars over there and, uh, you know, those, that, that cut a well cars and pull those back over here. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Notch one's going to be enough. Now, we don't want to get on this end of them. I could have if I would not put cars on this track. There's cars already on this track, and there's cars on this track I just put on there. But it's not going to make a difference. If I run around the other end, otherwise I'd have to run around to come back up to this side anyway, so it's not going to make a difference. Either way, I'm doing the run around, so it's all right. Now, one may be shorter than the other, but I can't imagine it's by much. I don't think I've ever been all the way down this track before. <laughs> This will be, this'll be the first time I've been down this track in that exam. All right. These should all be set correctly, right? Yep. There's the big long line of well cars that have to be loaded here at Jack's Duvall. These have been sitting here for a long time. Cars ignored. Sure. There we go. Okay, so uh, I will uh, put you guys on pause once again until we get the other end of this cut. And we are almost at the other end of this cut, and I see we got some red lights here. Is that going to be a CTC switch there? Am I going to have to contact auto? Uh, I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's see. Looks like it's just uh absolute stop. That track goes off that way. That one continues forward. Yeah, yeah I'm pointing out the obvious. Okay, we'll get out here and see what's going on. What's the buzz? Right here should do it. Okay, now let's run up this way. Are, the, are these CTC switches? Yep, that's what it is. These are CCT, CTC switches. Uh, okay. So, uh, wait a minute. Let's go back over here. And if you stand and you stand near this thing here, it should come up on the map where we're at. That's not the way you do it, though. This. There we go. I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I want to be on the A line. I don't see me. There I am. I'm right here. That's where I am. See, oh, that's very nice. We're, we're in Moncrief Yard. So this read leads right into uh, Moncrief. Well, this is Moncrief Yard up here, actually. Yeah, we're not in Moncrief Yard. I take that back. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go. I'm. I got the okay. Uh, let's see if we let's see if we can coax Otto into into letting us have this. So here's the end of our cut right there, it's just up the track there. Uh, do I got to ask for mainline service? Uh, what do I want? Uh, I want to tone the dispatcher. Otto, I want something. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> the track's aligned for this. Uh, request a signal. I'm not going anywhere. How about mainline authority? Can I have that? He granted it to me. Uh, but it's still red. Okay, let's look at the uh, dispatcher screen again. 
Yeah, so I have mainline authority. I can go on to here. Maybe this is not considered mainline, though. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to go forward now. Uh, what if I... What if I... Uh, <laughs> let's mess out a little bit anyway. I'm going to find out what I'm doing here. Uh, let me tone the dispatcher again. And let me ask him for the signal. Is he going to tell me you don't have a... You don't have a distance. Or I mean, a, 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 not a distance. You don't have a... Uh... Oh, no, look at that. So I didn't need mainline authority. Hey, Otto, you son of a gun, you. Okay. So we're going to come over here now, and we're going to say, of course, I may need it because i got to switch that switch. All right, let, let's, let's stop thinking a thousand steps ahead. Here we go. Let's continue forward. All right. We're going to do it properly. Thanks, Otto. You son of a gun, you. I want to pull up to this one here. We're going right back onto this one. Now, what's the, it doesn't matter what that one said. at. The far one. This one it does. The far one doesn't matter. Okay. Come over this way. Then you got to remember to relinquish mainline authority when you're done. We'll be done real fast. Like, I'll see if I can throw this switch. Will let me? You must ask the dispatcher to unlock it first. Well, so much for mainline authority. Or you could click on this and say, I'm taking over? I can't. Why can't I? Okay, maybe I gotta do that, and then I gotta do this. Yeah, you forget I'm the CEO, Otto. All right, so let's put this into uh, reverse. Ease our way back onto this track here. There we go. And we'll stop it right there. Then we'll throw this one back to main line like that, right? That's what it, that's what it was when I found it. Uh, and then we'll uh, relinquish that. So there we go, right? And then we'll call auto, and we'll relinquish our main line authority. Although I'm not sure if I need to do that. Well, I mean, I should, right? Uh, yeah, relinquish my main. Line authority. Okay. I no longer have authority on the main line without calling auto. I guess. I don't know. Something like that. I think I did that kind of right. That was sort of right. I was surprised I got him to turn the light yellow, so I was pretty excited about that. All right. Now we're going to lash on to this end. Okay. Indie break here to get us down to five or under. Here we go. Jump off. Come forward. Hit it. Mmm. F5, F7 it. Mmm. Nice. Now, are these set up correctly? Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're all empties, which they should be, and they're all going to JDR. Yeah, which they should be. Beautiful. Okay, you know what's not beautiful? We got to end it here, folks. We are in the butter zone right now. So, in episode 22... We'll push this load of uh, empty uh, well cars into the under the industry tracks, and then we'll actually next episode we'll actually move out of Jacksonville again. Not that I hate it. Sometimes I think to myself, "Well, we've been here a long time, and I wonder if people are getting bored." 
I'm not getting bored. So if I'm not getting bored, there might be one or two of you out there who are also not getting bored. If you're getting bored, well, this may not be the channel for you. Except I'm saying that way too early now, Arnie. I, I, I'm, 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 off, I'm, off, I'm off kilter. Uh, but I really do hope you guys had a good time. Um, I had a blast as always. Why don't you like? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you leave me a comment? And if we come over here and see that this is just gibberish and that bothers you, well, this just may not be the channel for you.